going on, everybody? It is your boy, tu amigo, tu chico, el gordito. Bienvenidos a todos mis amigos, todos los hispanos. ¿Cómo está todo con toda mi familia? Que está bueno, el chico tic taquita tranquilo. Y estamos listos para traer un nuevo fragancia de Puerto Rico, baby. In a moment, but welcome everybody. You know who I am. I am Mr. Fat Boy, aka the bilingual one, aka not just bilingual with my tongue. You know what I'm saying, baby. Oh, this is perfect timing. Perfect timing. Damn. <laughs> Welcome. It's a party today, baby. We're gonna have a party. We're gonna review the brand, my first fragrance ever from Genre Perfumes. We get all up in it. Of course, you can see the theme, the Latin theme we got going on. We're reviewing today Genre Perfumes, when in Puerto Rico. Here it is. We're about to get all up in it here in the, after the break. Before we do that, I wanna say thank you for tuning in. And if you are new, yes, nuevo, come on in, baby. Hit the like and subscribe. Come and join this party. You like fragrances? You like a good time? You like pure energy and pure genuineness? That's me, baby. You can't beat it. All right, let's go. You know how we do it, baby. No edits, no do-overs. All I need is one take, baby. Uno, and I always get it right. Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews, El Gordito, and Pesas Ahora, baby. Jump, let's go, levantate y baila conmigo. My dad had a bar, and I've told this story before, in Puerto Rico, called it Fado. And I would go to the jukebox, and I, it would be open, and I'd play this song over and over again. I love this song. Ah, oh, man. Great memories. Miss you, Pop. I love you. Te quiero mucho y bendición a toda mi familia. In Puerto Rico, when you have your elders, you go up to them and you say bendición. That's a show of respect, and they'll say back to you, Que Dios lo bendiga. So, very important. And I taught my kids that. And it's, the whole thing about Puerto Rico is this. It's family. It's the sights, it's the sounds, it's the smells. It's just something totally different. I was just recently there this past summer with my sister. And it was beautiful. So the fragrance here I'm talking about today is from Genre Perfumes. This is my first fragrance I had purchased from Genre. 
It is called When in Puerto Rico. And I'm going to go ahead and cut the strobes off so we don't um, give anybody an aneurysm or anything like that. We'll go to just a nice little. There we go. So, uh, this fragrance right here is a fragrance that was kind of composed by what people in Puerto Rico said would be in it. So, this is not the perfumer's idea of what Puerto Rico could smell like, but what people there thought a fragrance would have in Puerto Rico in there. And the notes that we'll go over that first before we get into the presentation and all that. So I think it's important to go over the notes too. Alright. So in the notes, it, they classify this as the main accords is going to be like a fruity, sweet, marine, amber, tobacco fragrance. Okay. So we have citrus, mango, pina colada, uh, marine rum. I don't know what that means. Marine notes is my guess. Rum, vetiver, cedarwood. Amber, tonka bean, vanilla, and tobacco. Now those all seem like great ingredients. All of them in there. There's one thing I would do an addendum to, is I would have left the tobacco out. In a way, tobacco is not what, you know, not a lot of tobacco is grown in Puerto Rico, although it's very close to Cuba. It's not known for tobacco. Um, I would have stuck with the cedar wood, but I would have maybe tried how to put in some of that dried wood from like a coconut tree, the husk. Something like that to kind of give it a little more of a earthy feel. I think it's right. I would have went, and you'd be surprised. Where's the bananas at? I think a banana here would have been a great note too to add to it. Not, it's not overkill with bananas at all. Coconut definitely belongs in there. Maybe a little lime, a little more lime in this too. But I like the ingredients. Um, it's my first genre. Uh, it was 50 bucks. I'll leave the link below where you can pick it up. I also have samples of this, plenty of them you can sample at fatboyfragrance.com, fatboyfragrance.com, where the customer is always right, baby. So here's the box. It's a cool little box, you know, for a small niche uh, indie, indie house, clone house. I don't know if they're really a clone house. I haven't tried none of their stuff yet, so all I have tried is just this one, okay? But, boy, this song is good, too. This song is saying, what have you done, you abuser? Makes calling woman the abuser. Abusadora, abusadora, abusadora. Abuser of my heart, baby. <laughs> oh, great music. Refer, refer, Refredo Vargas is a legend. So, it's got the map of Puerto Rico on there. I looked at my little town in there. It's not on here. How you yes? But I see Caguas, Bayamon. I've been to Bayamon, pretty big city. Arecibo is where they have the satellite that's falling apart right now. If you are a fan of GoldenEye, you remember that the final scene of GoldenEye, they were fighting on that satellite right there. Um, pretty cool. I'm glad I got to go see it. Sam Juan, of course. Um, it also has the notes right there on the box, too. Puerto Rican flag right there. 50 ml. It'll set you back about 50 bucks. Not a bad deal, in my opinion. All right. Let's pull out a box. Check at the bottom. And I got, I've sold a good bit of mine already. And I have another backup bottle though too. Here's a good look at the bottle. Went in Puerto Rico. Love the little simplicity of it, but it's really nice, well done. All right, so let's put it in the air, put it in the skin. I've worn it extensively. I've got my full feelings on it. This one's been, man, you don't have to even spray it. What I'm picking up on here, and, and, and I wanted, and I tested this to make sure. Oh, I dropped the lid, hold on. No way this, baby. I wanted to test something live with you guys. I had bought a second one. I wanted to make sure that there wasn't just a smell I was smelling that was kind of a petrol vibe I'm picking up on. But I had bought two of them, so I wanted to smell the other one too. And see if that's what I'm picking up on too. See, here's my second bottle I bought. But I wanted to check this with you guys live and see if that's what I smelled. Yeah, that's the vibe. I, I think it's not so much a petrol vibe as it is the tobacco and maybe some of the mango mixing together to put off this petrol kind of gasoline smell. I don't mind it. It does kind of affect the fragrance a little bit. I'll get into that as I spray it. But let's go ahead and put the skin, put it in the, in the air and see what we get. I do pick up on the mango, it's beautiful. Mango is one of my favorite notes in the whole world. I love mango. 
I don't get a lot of coconut on this one. I do, I tell you, I do pick up on the coconut. I pick up on coconut, mango, sweet fragrance here. It would have benefited from a little bit of acidity, some citrus, more citrus vibe in there to give it, a, to kind of balance it out. You know, it's like in, when you're making foods, you want also this balance of, you know, too sweet. The sourness and the citrus would have helped out a good bit. I don't know what it is. There's just that petrol vibe. It just doesn't last long. It goes away. And what you're left with is a fruity tropical drink. Absolutely fruity. Absolutely gorgeous, too. Um, people went crazy over this one. I just wish there was more of a citrus vibe. Lime. Maybe even grapefruit. Uh, anything that's indigenous to the island, lime is. Lemon would have worked, too. Blending them both, maybe. But other than that, it's well done. It is sweet. It is tropical. It definitely... Once you get past a little bit of petrol smell I pick up in the, in the opening, it settles down. Do I get a lot of tobacco on this? No. I do pick up on the vanilla and the amber. It's definitely a nice sweet, but more vanilla dry down, which I can appreciate, because that one is toned down a little bit. This fragrance right here actually could be worn year-round, in my opinion, easily. And I tell you what, it does settle beautifully on the skin. And it's a beautiful, nice, fruity, tropical fragrance. Does it make me think about Puerto Rico? If you were in that mentality, yes. But when I think Puerto Rico, I think more, I also think floral notes. I think of a, of a floral, some great flower smells that I get in Puerto Rico, I can't get here. Another great pr uh, fruit note is tamarind, passion fruit. Those are the things I would love to have seen in this fragrance. Mango could have stayed. I would stay with the mango. I would stay with the coconut. Then I would have brought some lime in. Rum is heavier on the rum. I would do like three different rums. Lime. Then I would have wrapped it up with some with some sweet, you know, vanilla and some amber to really bring it together. And the vetiver, of course, to kind of give that earthy, grimy feel, which we all love. It's a great fragrance. I'm not critiquing it. I'm just saying these are things that I would add it to it. Maybe I will one day. <laughs> but overall, it's a very pleasing fragrance. They don't, they don't disappoint. This is well good enough to say Puerto Rico, yes. You didn't like it's a shaming Puerto Rico or anything. No, this is an amazing fragrance. All right. When in Puerto Rico, let's see how much of my approval I give it. All right. First of all, first impressions, first spray, first smell. It's a half a check for me. That petrol note that I get on there, it's, it's just off-putting. My wife noticed it too. And it just was something that we weren't expecting with this fragrance. But once it went away, we got what we were expecting. Yeah, yeah. And I might just be the quality of the ingredients that genre uses. I don't know. I'm going to buy another fragrance from genre and get them another, another one too. Also, I want to compare. Um... But it is a nice fragrance. It's got a lot of, there's a lot of compassion, a lot of thought put into this one, no doubt. But a half a check on a fresh opening. Performance, that we can agree on. Performance is phenomenal. Nuclear. Spray this five times at most. That's it. You're good. You're golden. I got easy one spray out of this bad boy all day. I smelled it. No problem. All right. Compliment factor. Does the wifey like it? She does not like the opening just like I did. I brought her back in a little while later and she's like, okay, I like this a little bit more. But it's not her favorite. She wasn't a big, huge fan of it. I thought she'd be bigger. We both thought we'd be bigger fans of it. Um, did it garner me any comments? No. No comments. Do I feel like it's a comment factor? I can't get comments. Maybe and maybe not. Depending. Sometimes the fragrance is too floor, uh, fruity. Tropical might not garner compliments as much as say something that ha it, it needed a better balance as far as not we say it's more acidity. It's just me. I think it would have balanced out better with more woody notes and, a, and, and, and citrus notes. This thing would have been a masterpiece. Okay. So I'm going to give it a half a check for that because I think in the comments, the wifey kind of likes doesn't love it. Last box. How much do I recommend this fragrance? Is it blind bottle worthy? At 50 bucks, you really can't take a mess up. 
This fragrance is well liked by the genre community, perfume community. You ain't gonna have a problem selling if you wanna sell it. You sell it for 40 bucks and you lose 10. Whoopity woo. You'll still, get, you'll still get your money out of this one. So it's not as this is not blind bottle worthy. It is. I mean, it's because you're not investing a lot, okay? Overall, the fragrance is done good. I'm giving it about a 70% approval. Uh, I would say about a half a but I have a check on that. So overall, about, you know, 70% is a good approval for me. Not enough to be blind bottle worthy. Definitely sample before you buy. If you don't want to spend the 50 bucks, spend about 8 bucks, 10 bucks at, over at FatboyFragrance.com and try it. Not a terrible fragrance. Does do justice by Puerto Rico. It's not a disappointment. Is it the best first impression from a house for me? No. I get a feeling that the ingredients here maybe aren't as expensive as I, you know, as I wanted them to be, but the cost is very affordable, so we'll go there. Is this something that the perfumer just came up with on their own? No. They took ideas from other people, and for the most part, it's loved by the genre perfumes community. And that might just be an outlier. I don't hate it. I don't love it. I like it. No problem at all saying that. 70% approval. I pay for both my bottles, too. Feel free. Uh, review here for sure. So, when in Puerto Rico from Genre Perfumes, a solid fragrance that had that maybe they missed an opportunity to make a masterpiece. That's all the time I got. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the music. Y'all stay safe. Y'all stay well. Y bienvenidos, todos mis amigos. Que pasa buen día. Dios lo bendiga. You know I always say, baby, if you smell good and you feel good, then baby, it's gonna be all good. Fat Boy Fergus Reviews is out.